everyone. So I'm going to actually set up my journal planner. So this is the one that I said I wasn't going to be showing much, but I found kind of a way that I use colorful boxes to kind of just cover a certain spot and we will get into it right now. So it's going to be a setup for February. I typically, I guess we'll only have to do one setup for this because I'm going to go through all of them and just show you what I do here. I don't think I'll be decorating this page. Kind of thinking of decorating it more towards the end of the month just to see how my months are going because as I mentioned, the month ones, I'm going to be putting the theme of my journal entry. So if I became aware of something that's been bothering me, if I worked it out, you know, those are going to be the themes so I can see. So when I go through it, I can see something has been bothering me every single day. I need to do something about it. Or I've been having a really great week or, you know, anything that I see it very quickly on this instead of going through everything. So I'm going to just flip through. The first thing I'm going to do is actually, what color do I want here? I have to think of a kind of a, a color scheme that goes with the color for the month. So this is all like peach. I can do kind of peach, but I want to tie in another color. What do they have on their main page? They have a page right before. Okay, so it's kind of, yeah, it's a mixture between these. Well, no, because January was a different color. So these two will probably be my main colors. And the first thing I'm going to do is the only one that I think I have that works with it is I'm going to go through all the headers and actually highlight them with this Tombow brush pen. Because I notice when I'm writing, and since I write in a black pen, um, I kind of lose the date. <laughs> so I, I like highlighting it so it could come out a little bit more. So let me run through all of them and do that. So while I was doing that, I realized I grabbed the wrong one. They look very similar. Um, meant to grab this one, I think. So I'm gonna do the next week in a different color. Which is fine, it doesn't bother me. I just need something to pop out at me. That's the color I was looking for. So this would be the rest of the month. <laughs> Valentine's Day is on a Friday. Doesn't matter to me much. Jason works on Fridays. And he works until late, so we don't typically do anything. We could, in theory. Um, there's a lot of places open pretty late. But, I mean, I'm fine. I don't really care about Valentine's Day too much. Not that I don't care about it. I just don't plan everything around it. What I'm looking forward to is getting invited to another Galentine's Day. I love those. I haven't been to one in a long time. Um, like either a lunch or a brunch, which just a whole... Bunch of gal pals. So fun. Eh, mm, mm. It's a different month. Let me just... Just so I know. I'm gonna do it in... It's funny, March is in that color. Okay. Do that. It's a very, very slight difference, but it's fine. I really don't like this color. I wonder if I might block that out. Alright, so what I do with this part... Let's go back to the front. Um, so for this section, I actually track my wins. This is actually more than how many days there are, which is fine. But I want to track my wins for the day. And I've been doing that very well. And what I do over here in the yearly one is I write my wins with a 0 .01 pen, like really small. Um, and I need to catch up because I have not. I normally, since I have them here, it's at the end of the week or the following week or whenever when I go in and I write them all. Because then I have a kind of bird's eye view of all my little wins. See, last month this color didn't bug me. It was just like a weird brown. I will either find something to cover the whole box or what I just did before is just cover this, which is all I did. Let's see how the first week will look. I can just get over that color, honestly, but it's kind of irritating. <laughs> and color. I need a pink or a coral. I might alternate because I don't want to use every single one of these because these are nice ones. But so what I typically do is I just put it here and I need a white at the bottom, but that's that's kind of where it lands. Okay, so I have my white out. And I just white this out. All right, 
that could have been a little better. What I also might do is if maybe a day I don't write that much, I might put a sticker afterwards, but this is generally what I do. I really need this color. <laughs> Sorry about that. I live near a fire station, so every now and then it's just, you know, them, them, them doing what they need to do. So I put this one here, yeah. Luckily, I don't have to use too many stickers for this because it's what is like four or five. Why did I just go over the same line? Hmm? Uh, there you go. And what I write in here is literally weekly wins. I just don't like that it says do all the things because there's nothing I'm doing. <laughs> it's just tracking my wins. That's all I'm doing. I want to see if I can, maybe I'll decorate it a little more, but I'm going to go through and do these first. All right, so that's that. I don't think there's another thing after here, no. And let me see if I can go around and kind of decorate a little bit more. So some pages have a quote and some don't. So I'm gonna see if I can find something in here. There's really no colors in here that kind of go with this. So I'm gonna move on. All right, I think I might be able to find one thing at least in here. Let's see. Kind of like this. I don't think I'll be putting it anywhere else. So I'm gonna put it here. And I'm not planning, but I do say if you have all the drama out of your head, you'll be able to plan a lot easier instead of just worrying about something. So I'll put that there and then put this one. This one's a little cute. And the next one has a quote. I'll put this right here. That's a little cute little thing. Um, I could put flowers somewhere. Oh, I can use a washi. I have a flower one somewhere. Oh. This, yes. Let's put it on at least one of the pages. My overlap at the top, but that's fine. Let's see if I can tear this right. I'm gonna tear this right here too though. Okay, Up there for now. All right, that's cute. All right, so I have a little bit, a little bit of something every day. I'll probably just remove this because that does not affect my journaling. I think that's it for this. So I haven't decided yet if I'm going to use specific days for like journal prompting, I may use, oh, what days are they? Um, on the 8th and the 23rd, actually, I'm gonna put something in. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, remind myself. Those are days that I journal more. I'll journal something, probably a prompt or something. 8th and then 23rd. Perfect. So that's good for now, and I will just fill it in as I need to, but. So this is the calendar page, and then I kind of put the headers in a different color. I mean, this week was wrong, but it's fine. It actually kind of matches with that one. And I cover up the, all the things, and that's generally what I do for my journal. I have yet to do anything else, but if that changes, I'll make another video. Or maybe I'll just make a video so you can see how I set up March if you like these videos. Um, if you like this specific video, I know this one wasn't as interesting as my weekly spreads or anybody's weekly spreads. But if you would like me to make another one, please like and comment below if you maybe only want this type of video when I change something in it. But other than that, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, comment below. If you would like to see more videos, please subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.